Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play NES. I'm Josh from Offhand Games and in this episode we play George Foreman's KO Boxing. Not really sure what to expect from this one. I got high hopes because, you know, when I think boxing for the NES I think Punch-Out. Surely this wanted to compete with Punch-Out. So we're going up against Lorenzo Bullet Luciano. Alright, so far so good actually. Uh, it seems a little bit looser in controls than Punch-Out, but the, they seem to be about the same. A uses your right hand, B the left, up goes for the face. If you're not holding up, then it goes for the midsection and down blocks. But it's very difficult to predict what the enemy's movements are going to be. One thing that Punch-Out had going for it... Can I hit buttons to get up? Start? Get up! Get up! You're telling me Luciano knocked out four minutes? Oh. Ooh, I did not want to see that. Tell me you're not going for the humor of... Doritos, really? Okay, so tell me you're not going for the humor of Punch-Out but, I don't know. I almost don't even know what to say. This is really sad and distracting. Okay, game over. Let's try, try again. We're going to jump back in here. We're like barely two minutes in and we've already been defeated. Anyway, what I was saying was, the original Punch-Out, what it had going for it was the predictability of some of the enemy's moves once you learned their behaviors. But there aren't enough animations in this to really get enemy behaviors. You have to kind of guess. Okay, so he moved back, but, you know, in Punch-Out, he would have hopped around and done, like, a bald bull style. Oh, oh, here we go. You got really... Whoa, sh shit, he got up fast. I wish he could actually attack like that. Let's wail on him. Punch him in the gut when he comes back down. Maybe we'll actually get a timed knockout. Oh, that sucked. Can we get up this time? I think I figured out the secret to getting up, alternating A and B really quickly. You just, it's like you have no strength, you can barely stand, and then all of a sudden you're back on the... back on the mat with... Nope! Oh, I hate getting hit with that wind-up punch. You're back on the mat with the, you know, most strength you've ever had. It would be a challenge just to be this first fight. Now he might have a certain pattern, but I don't have the time to sit here and try to learn his his pattern, you know, I'd ra I would rather learn, like I was saying about Punch-Out and Super Punch-Out, I would rather learn about his animations and have him come at me with random patterns that's much more realistic. Now I did find out that when we get a boxing glove at the bottom for a few hits in a row, that we can hit select to do a super didn't seem to hit him with it though. Can we get a dodge and hit? No, he's gonna do that wind up punch again at some point. And we don't have enough time to get out of the way when that happens. Probably take a bunch of damage if we block it too. Now, yeah, couldn't even couldn't even get a block off. I was in the middle of hitting when he started to wind up. Didn't give me enough time to react. Can we get up. We're gonna be out. We're gonna be out. Nah, we're out. Might be my quickest review yet. We've already played through and been defeated three times? Four, maybe? I didn't even count. So frustrated. Well, my review for this game is that it's not Punch Out. So if you're looking for Punch Out, steer clear of this one, just go back and replay Punch Out again. Well, George Foreman's KO Boxing, I'm sorry. Your grill is much better. <laughs> As always, thanks for watching Let's Play NES, and I'll see you next time.